Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will learn about the for loop statement. The for loop statement is the most commonly used loop statement and is typically used when the number of iterations is known in advance. The syntax of the for loop statement is shown on the screen. It consists of three parts and closed in parentheses after the for keyword, the initialization expression, the loop condition, and the update expression. These parts are separated by semicolons. The statements inside the curly braces are the loop body. Now let's dive into the details of the for loop statement. Let's analyze the execution flow of the for loop by using numbers to represent each part. First, initialization expression. Second, loop condition. Third, iteration expression. Fourth, loop body. The execution flow of the for loop is as shown on the screen. Step 1. Execute the initialization expression. Step 2. Evaluate the loop condition. If the condition is true, proceed to step 3. If the condition is false, proceed to step 5. Step 3. Execute the loop body. Step 4. Execute the iteration expression. Repeat steps 2 to 4 until the loop condition is false. Step 5. Exit the loop. Now, let's see an example that demonstrates the use of the for loop by summing up natural numbers from 1 to 4. The specific code is shown on the screen. 1 in this for loop. The variable i is initially set to 1. The loop condition i is less than equals 4 seconds is evaluated. And if it's true. The loop body sum plus equals i is executed. After the execution, the iteration expression is i plus plus, which increments the value of i to 2. Then, the condition is checked again, and the next iteration begins. This process continues until i equals 50. Since the condition i is less than equals 4 evaluates to false, the loop ends. After the loop, the code after the for loop is executed, which prints sum equals 10. Here is the list of the values of variables sum and i during each iteration of the loop. During the first iteration, the value of variable i is 1, and the value of variable sum is also 1. By the fourth iteration, the value of i becomes 4, and the value of sum is 10. The output of the program is shown on the screen. Well, do well, and for loops have many similarities, but they also have several differences. The similarities are as follows. All three loops follow the four elements of a loop, initializing the loop variable, specifying the loop condition, executing the loop body, and updating the loop variable. The differences between the three loops are mainly in the following two aspects. While and do while loops are suitable for scenarios where the number of iterations is not known in advance. While the for loop is suitable for scenarios where the number of iterations is known. Second, while and for loops first check the loop condition before executing the loop body. The do while loop executes the loop body first and then checks the loop condition. Let's use while, do while and for loops separately to output all odd numbers within 10. Let's implement it using a while loop. We want to output all odd numbers within 10. We'll start by defining a variable called num with an initial value of 0. Next, we'll construct the while loop with the condition that num is less than or equal to 10. Once the condition is satisfied, we enter the while loop body. Inside the loop body, we need to check if the number is odd. We can do this by using the modulo operator percent to check if the remainder of dividing the number by 2 is not equal to 0. If it's not equal to 0, it means the number is odd, and we can proceed with the output. If it's even, we skip the output.
At the end of each iteration, we add a comma as a delimiter. Additionally, we increment the value of that num variable by 1. Let's run the code. You can see that by constructing this while loop, we successfully output all odd numbers within 10. Next, we'll use a do while loop to achieve the output of odd numbers within 10. We'll start by constructing a do while loop. First, we define a loop variable called num2 seconds with an initial value of 2. The condition for the while loop is specified after that. It states that the value of num2 seconds must be less than or equal to 10. After that, we proceed with checking whether num2 seconds is an odd number. Just like we did before, we use the modulo operator percent to check if the remainder of dividing num2 seconds by 2 is not equal to 0. If it's not equal to 0, it means the number is odd, and we perform the output. We need to ensure that the loop variable is incremented in each iteration. Otherwise, it could result in an infinite loop. In this case, we increment the value of that num2 seconds variable by 1. This will eventually cause num2 seconds to exceed 10. And the condition for the loop will become false. As a result, the do while loop will exit and prevent an infinite loop. Let's run the code. Also successfully outputs the odd numbers within 10. We'll use a for loop to achieve the output of odd numbers within 10. In the case of a for loop, there are three expressions within the parentheses. First is the initialization expression, where the variable i is initialized to 1. Then, there's the condition expression, which states that the loop should continue as long as i is less than or equal to 10. Only if this condition is satisfied, the loop will enter the body. Adding 1 to the loop variable in each iteration helps prevent infinite loops. Within the loop body, we check if i is an odd number. We use the modulo operator percent to check if the remainder of dividing i by 2 is not equal to 0. If it's not equal to 0, it means the number is odd, and we perform the output.
In a for loop, the third expression within the parentheses responsible for modifying the loop variable's value. Therefore, we don't need to modify the loop variable's value within the loop body as we did in the while and do while loops. Let's run the code. You can see that in this example. We successfully output the odd numbers within 10 using a while loop, a do while loop, and a for loop. That concludes our discussion on the for loop. Goodbye, everyone. Write down the result of the program.